Good morning guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Clavister virtual security gateway inside of GNS3. First you want to open up VirtualBox so you can create the virtual machine. So what you have to do is to go to file and click on import appliance and then you know select the, the appliance and um, yeah these files you can get from the Clavister website. So I'm gonna click that and click on open, click on next and import. Yeah, so there you go. This is the virtual machine. Yeah, so I'm gonna right click and click on settings. And first of all, you wanna change the name. So I'm gonna write, um, let's see, VSG Lab. Yeah, that will be the name. And um, yeah, to be able to use this inside of GNS3, you have to change the settings a little bit. You know, the first thing you want to do is to set the set this to not attached because you will attach it inside of GNS3, and then you want to deselect cable connected, and you have to do that for all of the interfaces that you have: not attached, not cable connected, not attached, not cable connected, and you have to do that for all the four and uh, net all the four interface cards and um, the thing is if you want to have three ethernet ports inside of gns2 you have to configure four because the first one will not be used and the second one will be ethernet one it will be the interface called ethernet one that will th that will be the second one and this will be ethernet two and this will be ethernet three but you know, I just want to stress again that inside of GNS3, this will be number one, this will be number two, and this will be number three. And you know, don't forget to make sure that they're not attached and they're not cable connected. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll just change this one to, you know, to be similar to the other, to the other interface cards to make sure they all have the same adapter type. Yeah, and then click OK, and there you have it. So I'm gonna close um, virtual box manager and then launch GNS3. I'm just gonna give that a second to load while I drink my coffee. Yeah, so now we're in GNS3 and before you can use the use it, you have to go into preferences and select virtual box and then create new and you see it's gonna search through the list and like add any new virtual machines that you've added so it says VSG lab and I'm just gonna click finish and take OK so if I come to my appliances you can see VSG lab here and so right now I have a total of about four uh, Clavista virtual security gateways I've been using these two for practice and this is I did this one today morning and yeah this is the latest one so I'm gonna drag that here and then I'm going to use a browser virtual, a browser appliance as well. Yeah, so before you can use this, you have to right click and click on configure. And in the network, you want to make sure you enable all the four adapters. Yeah, so you click on the link, you add a link from the browser appliance. And make sure you use Ethernet 1 because, you know, we had four virtual appliances four adapt no we had four adapters and this was adapter one adapter two adapter three and adapter four but it's adapter one that will be read as interface one so we go ahead and click on that yeah and now we have a link so I'm going to start up the topology it's gonna take a while to start up Before you can use the operating system to connect to the security gateway, you have to make sure that the IP addresses are in the same subnet. So to check that you can open the terminal and type if config. And you can see that we have 192.168.1.2, which is in the same subnet as 192.168.1.1. You can see from the subnet mask. And if that's not the case, then you have to go to application to the settings and go into the network connections and there you have it you have the Ethernet connection if you click on edit 
and IPv4 settings. Here you can put in the IP address. You know, it's easiest to use one and the one six eight dot one dot two, or you can use three or four, or anything up to two fifty four, because you know of the because of the subnet mask. Yeah, um, you, when you click save, and you you, you press you, you type if config into the terminal, you can verify that the subnet the IP address is correct. Then you will be able to access the the web the management interface from this operating system yeah so now um, the topology is up yeah you can see the the Linux operating system is loading and the Clavista gateway is loading as well yeah so this one is up you're supposed to type 192.168.1.1 into the web browser because that's the default um, IP address of the management interface. Yeah, so you, you put in the default password and you click login and you're, you're in the system.